Hey everybody, it's me Estella and I'm back with a Q&A for you guys today. So I asked you a few days ago, I think it was yesterday, to ask me some questions for a Q&A on my community section of my channel. So I figured I'd just go through the questions and answer them for you guys today. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and also comment below this video questions that you have. I want to do more Q&As, especially over the next month, just because I want to kind of do a bit of a back and forth where I communicate with you guys and you communicate with me. So it's not just like a one way thing. So definitely ask any questions you have that you want me to answer in the comment section. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. So of course, the top question was, you got a man. And my answer to that is <clears throat> no comment. As of now, I don't really want to share my personal life on the internet. One day, if I feel ready and I want to share my life on the internet, then I'm not going to my past self is not going to judge my future self. But as of now, I do not want to talk about my personal life in any way, shape or form. So all I'm going to say to that is maybe yes, maybe no. Okay, so thoughts on the new SAT diversity score. So I had to look that up after I saw it. I did not hear about it at all, actually, but apparently they are doing a new adversity score, which takes into account where you live, your economic background, based on the US census, stuff like that, and they add that to your score, but you don't see the score, but colleges see the score. I think that it's a pretty good idea. Really hope that it doesn't get taken advantage of like the whole disability thing, if you guys know about the college admissions SAT scandal. But yeah, I really, I think it sounds like a pretty good idea. I mean, I don't really know that much about it. I just skimmed over an article about it, but I think the level of disadvantages for people in the college admissions process is really bad. So if this is a step towards a more equal college admissions process, then I'm all for it. How do you study after a whole day of tiring classes? So after a day of tiring classes, the first thing I would do is when I get home, I would usually go for a walk or I would take a shower or something that would just shake me up, maybe exercise a bit. That way it would kind of feel like there were two different days for me. One was like the first half and then I did something that shook me up and then I would have the second half. So you really just need to wake yourself up. So. Again, it can be, I don't really recommend drinking coffee that late in the afternoon, but if you can, try to maybe go run or exercise or again, like just splash some really cold water on your face, do something like that, get some sunlight and wake yourself up. And that's then how I would get more energy to study. So yeah. Do you think that the social science AP classes, AP World History, AP Push, AP Government, etc. are worth it? If so, why would you recommend someone that isn't going to have a career that relates to social science to take those classes? I do think that taking social science classes can still be useful. It was only because of the fact that I had to take a lot of AP classes in order to stay at the top of my class that I tried a lot of science classes and realized I hated them. I tried math classes that I realized that I did not like them, which thankfully I now know that I will not be taking calculus ever again. But it honestly showed me a lot more of like what I like and I don't like. And I think it's just always good to try out new things and see who knows, maybe you will really like a push and AP government and you'll realize you would want to go into that or at least study that more in college. So I think it's just always good to try new things. Will you be doing the Senior Summer College App Program for Rising Seniors? Love your channel, by the way. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Um, I will definitely be doing the Senior Summer College App Program, and I will be announcing it very soon, so stay tuned for that if you're a rising senior. It actually went a lot better than I expected last year, so I'm very excited to be doing it again this year. How do you push yourself to study when you don't have the motivation? I pretty much just trick myself by doing the Pomodoro method. So I'll tell myself like, okay, you only have to study this for 25 minutes and then you can just stop and not do anything. It's honestly all about the starting portion. Once you really get into the whole process, it's a lot easier, but the beginning is always the hardest. So I definitely recommend doing that, trying something like the Pomodoro method or just doing something for five minutes and then just five more minutes and then five more minutes and then five more minutes and then you get the gist. Would you study for AP Biology even after seeing a comet land in the vicinity of Georgia State? 
Honestly, probably not. <laughs> but if you really need to get a good grade on AP Biology, then yes. But overall, I probably would be wondering the meaning of life or something. I don't know. I think it really depends on how badly you would need that four or that five. Wow, okay, so this is a lot of questions in one question, so I'll just go through them really fast. What is your favorite book? I have too many, I, I don't know, okay. I guess Gone with the Wind would be probably my favorite book that's fiction, and then nonfiction would be which one would I choose out of all of them that I've read. I would say this is kind of cliche at this point, but probably the life-changing magic of tidying up just because like Marie Kondo is awesome, and yeah. Why do you love studying? I don't really love studying, but I love learning, and I think there's a huge difference between learning and studying. Do you like potatoes? Yes, I'm Russian. Well, I'm half Russian, and potatoes are a huge part of the Russian culture and food, so we eat a lot of potatoes, let's just put it at that. So I definitely, I think I like, I would say I like potatoes, yeah. What are your long-term realistic goals? I no longer have any long-term goals at all. Zero. Like, I'm not even kidding. I've stopped setting goals for myself and I've also stopped planning. I do not plan further than the current day that I'm in. And this system has actually been working very well for me. Do you think mental health comes first? 100%. I think that mental health is the number one most important thing in this life. And we always end up prioritizing something else over mental health. but. Which, which is unfortunately very sad, but I think that, yeah, I 100% would choose mental health first over everything else. Would you rather be in the UK education system or the US education system? I don't know. I have never really read that much about the UK education system. I don't really know much about it. From the few things I've read about it, it seems to be more efficient so I think actually I would probably choose the UK education system, but I'd have to do a lot more research. Have you ever heard of Naplin? Naplin? I don't know. I have not. How do you study math and how can you reach much subscribers? Um, I don't really know how to explain how I study for math. I just study. I don't know. I just do lots of practice problems if I'm struggling with a certain topic. Um, and how can you reach a lot of subscribers? Uh, I'm still trying to figure that out, so I think it's just about being consistent, which I haven't really been this past year. I think it's about being consistent and just trying a lot of different things and not getting discouraged and yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting and I will be doing more Q&A, so comment questions below, but uh, yeah, bye guys. Today's giveaway information is going to be here at the end of the video. Also, if you guys want to check out my Amazon shop where I have AP prep books, my favorite books, tons of different stationery that I use in my videos and in my Instagram, you can go check that out as well. The link will be down in my description box. And that's all I have for today's video, so bye guys!